Hey, Mr. Mill here. Welcome back to another video. I found some uh, social media posts on art e-learning and I figured we'd use a couple of them for this week. I collected about like four or five or more of um, different ideas and I'm going to present at least four of them to you. So the first one I found out or the one I found was the keyhole and I thought it was really interesting because we're stuck at home for the quarantine and it's very, very simple and I'll post some ideas or examples uh, over here. I'll post some examples over here as well. So with that said, it's really simple. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have a printout. If I do, the link will be below. Now what I'm gonna do now is just draw a circle using an object. If you wanna freehand it, you can, but I'm only gonna focus on the top portion of the circle, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw two um, kind of like slanted lines going away from that circle, just like this. One, two, and then close it. There. Now this is a keyhole. I know it's kind of wide, it's not as skinny uh, how you would normally draw it. So you'd normally draw a keyhole kind of like this, kind of, like really skinny and thin like that. But uh, there's no room to draw inside there, so that's why we want to make sure you do the whole page like this. Now, in order to make it more three-dimensional, it's quite simple. All you do is take the corner of this side right here, just draw a diagonal line going from the bottom here, and then going top right, and then do the exact same thing right here right in that little crevice right there. So now all you're gonna do now is take this point right here, go all the way across, and then from here, connect these two together. Now here comes the more difficult part. For some people, you're gonna curve, follow this curve and curve from here, and kind of stop almost halfway up. There you go. Now it looks kind of like you're going through the keyhole or looking through it. And uh, what I like to do is to make it look more realistic. I like to add little screws for the screw plate. So pretending like you're using like a flathead screwdriver, just trying to install this uh, little keyhole. There we go. Now if you want to add wood or anything like that, you can in the background, but I'm not going to. And then all you gotta do now is just decorate the inside. So I'm gonna do that. So uh, let's speed up video right now. All right, one project done. Make sure when you decide to do this project, uh, you have something underneath so it doesn't ruin your surface. And uh, that's that one. So the next project I have for you guys is kind of like a summary theme. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw sunglasses and then draw whatever you wanna do this uh, upcoming summer. So uh, we'll go from there. So this part's a little bit harder, but I want to show you guys a quick trick that you could do. Fold the paper first in half. Now, if you guys did not know, if you look at glasses like my glasses right here, we'll take these as an example. Um, they are symmetrical, so this side mirrors the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my paper in half, just like this. And then I'm gonna draw half of sunglasses, the best of my ability. Here we go. Here's the outline of the inside. And then now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it the opposite way or just turn it over. And if you can see through it, sometimes people like to go like this in the air. Um, I'm gonna try to do this my best, but you can kind of see it. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see through it? I'm not sure if you guys can, but can you guys see it through this camera? And then here's the side. So anyways, if you can see through it, it's an easier way how to uh, finish off the symmetry and how the glasses work. So hopefully this works and it should. Let's see where I ended it off. It ends right there. And these parts, oops, this little dot. Okay, so when I open it, it should be symmetrical. So you can decorate any way you want. If you want to put a face on the sunglasses itself, you can. Um, so I'm going to just do a quick figure, maybe in pencil. I'm just going to do a, a nose, maybe. My big nose, maybe. I'll draw myself. <laughs> It's 
gonna look like me? I don't know. We'll see. All right, now from here on out, all you gotta do is go inside the sunglasses and decorate them with a scene that you plan to do this summer or that you wish to. So let's speed up the video and see what I come up with. Quick and easy, all done. All right. Hopefully you guys do something more detailed, but that's my version. What we're gonna do is that we're going to be using um, these random shapes and turn them into trees. And I'll have examples here and here. And uh, all I'm gonna do now is uh, mimic these shapes or try to draw random shapes with my ability. And uh, ideally you wanna do like at least the size of like a softball, oh, sorry, as of like a baseball or something like that. So I'm gonna do my first one right here. It's just gonna be a skinny tree, just like that. Another one's probably gonna be like a big tree like this. One's gonna be like a fat one. So that's three right there. Now I can kind of guesstimate like uh, how many more trees I can have on this page. So um, I'm just gonna keep going and see what I can do. Um, let's see, maybe a shape like this maybe. Really round one and then last one. Ta -da. Now, I wanna do my best of my ability is to try to figure out some designs for the inside of the branches. So this is the uh, more technical part. Uh, before I do that, um, what I'm going to do, so I don't smear my markers, I'm going to color um, using colored pencil or some other material. Right here, there you go. Color pencils. And I'm going to color each and every single one of them a solid color. So let's get to it. All right, now that those solid colors, all I gotta do now is cut them out. Okay, once you cut them out, all you gotta do is find some construction paper of a color of your choice. If you don't have construction paper, don't worry about it. I have a solution. The solution is to take another piece of white paper and just color it any way you want, just like this. So I'm gonna hold it horizontally because it is a landscape photo. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, attach all these shapes onto my paper any way I want. So I'm going to find something that can adhere it. Mr. Mill can't find his glue, tape will work just fine. Now you got tape between, uh, behind all of them. Um, I like to start with the biggest shapes first because those are the ones that cover the most. So I'm just gonna place them in random spots. So maybe I'll put this one right here. The next biggest one is this tall one. Maybe I'll put this one all the way back here maybe. Uh, maybe I'll put this one right here towards the front and short like right there. Maybe I'll put this next one right here like that. Maybe I'll put this next one over here like this. This one right here like this, and the next one like this. Now, the good thing about using tape, I didn't realize just until now, but uh, you can like rearrange it better. But um, I'm liking my setup right now, so all I'm gonna do now is take a black marker, or if you don't feel confident, use a pencil. So I'm gonna use a black marker because I have a lot of projects to go over. So we're gonna go over it with a black. Actually, you know what? See what happens with a gray. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, testing it out with a gray. Hopefully it works even better. Alright, so all I'm gonna do now is add stems to all of them. Or sorry, tree trunks, I should say. Tree trunks doesn't matter what size or how big they are. Alright, 
tree trunks done, all you gotta do now is attach some branches. Now the branches, you know, I make sure that they're all different. That way it gives it more of an interesting photo. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go from the back here. Maybe I'll do this one like kind of like spirally like this. I'm liking the way it looks. Um, you can add more stuff if you want to. Um, I'll give you guys a quick example of what you can do, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I think my biggest suggestion maybe is just to do this. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but uh, we'll see. Kind of looks cool. I like it. Anyways, next project. Now for my final project, uh, you might have to do uh, use paint. Uh, I will of course show you guys the way how to not use paint. Uh, now this one is kind of using um, something that people like to play around with on the yard and you'll see it right away. So have you guys ever played on the yard and you saw those blowing things and when you blow it, stuff comes out? You guys know what I'm talking about. So anyways, what I'm going to do is draw that without the little blowing thing. So all I'm going to do is create a line of my choice like that, have to pay it diagonally just like that. And then all I'm going to do is create some off parts. So why don't I just go like this. Like that. And we'll go from there. So now that we have long ones in there, um, let's add some shorter ones. Lines don't have to be perfect. It's looking cool. So all I'm gonna do now, add some color using colored pencils. Normally people just use fingerprints and just add fingerprint with uh, paint. I don't have paint at the moment and I don't have time to do it at the moment. So all I'm gonna do is create uh, fingerprints just using colored pencil, just by creating an, a light oval right where these little petal things are. I'm just going to shade them in very lightly. So about like the size of like a quarter, if not smaller. You're just going to go like that for basically all of them. So let's speed up the video. I'm all done. I added some ones that were like flowing off but uh, you don't have to do that. I thought it was really cool. You can use different colors to make it look more interesting. I just decided to just use one color because it looks more uniform, looks more realistic besides it being pink. But uh, other than that, it looks great. Now those are going to be the four um, lessons I've shown you. So just to, just to recap, we have the little uh, keyhole. We got the sunglasses which is right here. Uh, we have the tree project which is located right here. And then finally we have this thing. <laughs> some links uh, or some photos of some other projects I've found on Instagram and other social media sites that I've been looking at. And uh, again, you guys can do whatever project you want. If you want to do one of them, that's fine. If you want to do all of them, that's more power to you. So anyways, that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.